Yeah, yeah, yeah. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com here back again with the questions, man. Listen, so today we got for this kid Nano. He said, Hi, Joe. I was wondering what your thoughts are on starting out and continuing to doing freelancing versus starting with a company to get more skills. This is the main goal of working for yourself. Thanks in advance. Uh, what do I think about it? Um, pretty much, I would say. You got to start with a company, man. Always start with a company because what you're going to do is you're going to get so much experience from other senior developers or other developers that in reality you won't get that from freelancing. You know, freelancing is like learning by yourself in your house. Like, yeah, you can learn all this stuff by yourself, but at the same time, you know, if, if a senior developer is there, he's going to save you that time and of like doing the research checking through stack overflow checking through you know xyz website whatever right when you work with a company basically if you're lucky and you have a, a good senior developer there then your your learning can be you know you could level up exponentially like you go up so much more than if it was just you in your house trying to solve problems right so that's what I would say. Definitely uh, try to go for a company. Plus, you get benefits and uh, you know a steady income. When you're working by yourself, you gotta think about it. It's not steady. It's always gonna be like you working on it, but you don't know if a client's gonna come in and be like, "Oh, can I pay you next month?" or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the same thing as working in a company where everything's steady. And you know what you're supposed to get paid every two weeks so that's a big difference right and like i said from the beginning most important thing about it is just the fact that you can learn with other senior developers you know people that might know more stuff than you you know sometimes that's like the best cases you know you could come in and be like hey man um i don't know how to do this and then the senior developer his job is to help you out find a solution you know, not only is to do his job, but he also has to do your job in case you can't do it. So most senior developers would rather teach you how to do it so like that the next time you don't bother them. <laughs> That's how it is. But yeah, man, like I, I definitely would say try, try to get into a company as your first job and then jump into something else. Don't try to do it the opposite way where you're like, you're trying to catch freelance gigs and stuff like that. Unless you live like in a country where there's not that many opportunities and that many jobs, then that's different. You know, because if you live in a country where there's no jobs, there's no tech industry, then that's totally different. You have to do it like that. You have to go in and start with doing stuff on your own but you live here in the US listen just go to a company apply for a company um, show that you're interested show that you can do the job and yeah just go hard at it man and like I said guys check out my website codingphase.com make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video make sure you stay up to date with what's going on and yeah love you guys take care peace